In this video, we will see 10 coolest sleeper cars from the 80s that will demolish ordinary sport cars today. Number 10, 1985 Volvo 240 Turbo. Regarding old Volvos, your view is either right or wrong. If you like them, you're right. If you don't, you should rethink. The Volvo 240 was essentially what the S60 is today, a small sit-in with a sporty edge to its personality. Aside from its rear-wheel drive arrangement and five-speed stick shift, the Turbo 4 power plant delivered its 155 Swedish horsepower instantly. Because the 240 weighed less than 3,000 pounds, it could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.5 seconds, which was impressive for the mid-80s. Number 9, 1987 Bentley Turbo R. Back in the day, Bentley was only concerned with providing its customers with the most opulent experience possible as they were escorted to their own room in their five-star hotel. But in 1985, they revealed their first slightly driver-focused limousine, the Turbo R. Although the Turbo R was not a sleek two-door coupe like the current Continental GT, it did get firmer suspension to reduce body roll and was powered by a 306.75 liter V8 that sped the enormous cocktail bar to 60 miles per hour in little under seven seconds. You could now choose between a nice ride around town and a spirited drive around some tight turns. Number 8, 1988 Lancia Delta HF Integral. The Delta Integral title is well known in rally racing, but less so on the streets, which is why we like it. The Delta HF Integral was an Italian built super hatch, one of the first in the world. The Lancia boasted a five-speed manual transmission and Recaro sport seats, which weren't just for show. The HF Integral's creation is entirely due to rally racing, which is where its four-wheel drive system and handling qualities were adopted after all. Under the hood was an eight-valve turbocharged four-cylinder capable of producing up to 180 horsepower, which meant it could always hit 60 miles per hour in six and a half seconds, regardless of the conditions. Number 7, 1989 Ford Taurus Shisho. The Taurus Shisho was one of the first vehicles to popularize the term sleeper among automobile enthusiasts, and the latest iteration retains the first strong generation's attitude. The Ford Taurus super high output was powered by a Yamaha-developed 24-valve 3.0-liter V6 that delivered 220 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque to only the front wheels, allowing it to sprint from 0 to 60 amp in 6.7 seconds and complete the quarter mile in 15 seconds on the drag strip. When the Taurus SHO debuted in 1989, it cost a little more than $20,000, yet it was capable of outrunning sports cars costing considerably more. Number 6, 1986 Volvo 740 Turbo Wagon. Volvo is no stranger to designing vehicles that have no reason to be as quick as they are, but their classic wagons are the most unassuming. The 740 Turbo Wagon may be utilized as a project vehicle due to its ease of maintenance, rear-wheel drive system, and snappy five-speed gearbox, or it can be used as a proficient grocery getter. The 740 was built for utility rather than performance, thus its huge boxy body Yet speed was never completely eliminated from the equation. The 740 had a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that produced 180 horsepower, resulting in a spacious family estate car with a 0 to 60 time of 8 seconds flat. Number 5, 1989 Vauxhall Lotus Carlton. That's correct, it's been injected with Lotus DNA. Lotus rebuilt the original Carlton's inline-six engine. Adding two Garrett turbochargers and expanding the engine's displacement to 3.3 liters, all of this meant the Carlton gained a 170 horsepower boost and a net total of 277 horsepower. These figures were accompanied by a 3,650 pound curb weight, a limited slip differential, and a ZF6 speed manual transmission. After all of the upgrades, the Vauxhall Lotus Carlton could attain speeds of more than 170 miles per hour and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. 
Inevitably, the Carlton became a favorite of street racers and criminals because they could evade the cops without sticking out like a sore thumb in traffic. Number 4, 1986 Shelby GLHS. While this hatchback may appear to be just another old Dodge Omni GLH, we delighted to tell you that's not the case. This GLH was known as the GLHS, which stood for Goes Like Hell Some More. Why, you may ask? Shell being the outfit behind some of America's most extreme muscle vehicles was responsible for the GL8 pathological S's thirst for speed. A 2.2-liter turbo four pounded beneath its hood, producing 175 horsepower. The Shelby GLHS sped from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in six and a half seconds due to its light frame and clear abundance of power. Number three, 1985 BMW M5. The Taurus SHO is commonly regarded as the ideal economical sleeper car, but if money isn't an issue, the BMW M5 wins hands down every time. The first generation M5, known as the E28, debuted in 1985 and every facelift, update, and other model afterwards has represented what a super sedan should be. The E28 was powered by a 3.5-liter straight-six engine that produced 258 horsepower in the United States and 286 horsepower in other parts of the world. As you might expect, reaching 0 to 60 mph took 6.5 seconds, but it also had an amazing peak speed of 152 miles per hour. Number 2, 1987 Buick GNX. So let's talk about what the Buick GNX was fundamentally before we get into performance numbers or any other vehicle specifications. A McLaren-built muscle car that looked like Darth Vader's helmet. When the GNX was introduced in 1987, it was among the quickest production vehicles ever made. It was co-developed with McLaren and had a turbocharged six-cylinder engine that produced more than 300 horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque. After hearing those power numbers and learning that it was co-built by McLaren, it should come as no surprise that the Buick GNX could run a quarter mile in 12.7 seconds, faster than a Ferrari F40, and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds. Number 1, 1986 Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer. The AMG Hammer, whose name is incredibly self-explanatory, it smashed all of its competition into the ground, is likely familiar to German auto enthusiasts. The Hammer took the top spot on our list for a very good reason, and that reason is its incredible naturally aspirated V8 power, which comes in at 355 horsepower and 5.5 liters of displacement. This meant that the Merc could accelerate to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in only five seconds, and if you had the nerve, you could keep your foot on the pedal and travel as fast as 178 miles per hour, which is quicker than most modern automobiles are permitted to drive. The AMG Hammer can also travel completely sideways without any restrictions, which is something that contemporary automobiles cannot achieve. I'm hoping you'll find this video entertaining and informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you enjoy watching and learning about vehicles, smash that bell icon so that you may be notified when I release a new video. Please let me know in the comments section below if there is a particular topic you would want me to cover in my upcoming videos.